Hey guys, in about 10 minutes I'm going to leave work and go on the longest camping trip with that I've been on with the van, meaning that I've had to pack everything I need for the next five or six days perhaps. I'm going to be in a pretty remote location, no cell phone signal or food or gas or anything. So surfing trip that I've been on since I've had the van, I'm pretty stoked about it. So it's supposed to be bombing at this beach I'm going to, but uh, we'll check it out and I'll bring you guys along. So. Well, got up here to one of the bridges and it is shut down until 4 a.m. So this is only like about an hour into the trip. Yeah, the police officer said to pull around here little place to park and just wait it out till 4 a.m. and uh, so we can continue on our journey. Hey guys, another really cool feature with the poncho. It makes a awesome little awning. Getting ready to go surf. So it's afternoon now, and there's still some big bombs coming in. Here comes a set right over here to see if these guys get it. And um, yeah, I got things set up. I finally made some coffee. Gonna drink that and suit up and then head out. It'd be nice if the sun popped out. This was day two, it's Sunday the second or something like that. And uh, the sun popped out a little bit today and it's blowing offshore. The waves dropped in size, it's a little tide right now. And I'm sitting here playing guitar. And I got the little heater happening right there. And yeah, so. I'm just enjoying the evening, resting, and I'm um, just watching it. It's actually really peaceful. did kind of a repair on there some sun cure and some tape we'll see how it holds but any repair just sucks because that means you damaged your board and now the board's damaged drove six hours round trip to pick up my new blue planet kaizen paddle with a mono grip and this is all they came yeah six hours for a shaft no handle no blade today was one of those days that it was pretty brutal like <laughs> I don't even know how to even explain it, dude. I was so upset. I ended up driving hours and hours, you know, three hours one way to go pick up this paddle and to get to the post office and one piece is there. So almost like a burnt trip. Drive all the way back and come back to set up camp, right? And then I pull my board out and set it down to put the fins in. Really taking care of it and being really cautious of it. Instantly, the wind picks it up and slams it up against the friggin' picnic table. Three holes in the bottom and crushes the rail. So then I spent hours trying to fix that thing. And it just compounds so that... Uh, the the time spent with that takes away from time spent with other things I was planning on doing on um, my time off finally get around to like taking a shower so my clean clothes and my dirty clothes that I'm wearing I walk into the bathroom and the bathroom's open no big deal but guess what they got wet stain all on the wood everywhere that divides everything it gets all over my clean clothes my wool clothes everything just Stain everywhere. Um, and then a bunch of little things that happen on top of that. So just one of those days where unbelievable that just 
makes you wonder. But I guess days like that, on the flip side, make you, hopefully, will make you appreciate good days that much more better. Yeah, tomorrow I may have to go into the five mil suit, which I haven't worn yet, but it's gotten a lot colder the last day, actually. Yeah, you know, that five degree differential dropping below freezing at night is a, uh, it's a big factor. And then the highs are like just hovering around the low 40s and not sure what the water temp is, but anyhow. Well guys, there's a little bit more waves than I expected. The wind is still howling offshore. It'd be nice if it just let up just a little bit, but the, the tide is definitely right. Um, it's going to be high tide around 10, and I don't know, maybe it's 8 right now. So, uh, I'm enjoying my coffee out here. And it's looking like I'm going to suit up and uh, go out for a surf. Hey, good morning everybody. Well, I'm making a little bit of coffee and the through hole. The outlet I put in, see I have that little strip down there, a um, little ceramic heater that I can't run the same time I'm running this off of the one tank because it pops the fuse up there on the floor. But I can swap back and forth, make a little bit of coffee. It is still super windy blowing offshore and uh, yeah, a little bit chilly, but the forecast 
don't know if you can see. It is pretty. It's a gorgeous morning. But it's super windy out there. And if you can see the lineup right through the trees, there's a little bit of waves coming in. But just like crazy windy. You can see the branches moving. Well, it's my last day of the surfing pseudo safari waves are good a little bit more west northwest and there's some bombs going off down there yeah it's it's big and it looks good so let me get a couple hours in pack up camp and then head on in look at that Woo. Look at that. Little mini surf non safari trip it is coming to an end. It's my last day. Yeah, it was uh, it was fun for sure. Those ups and downs. Um, just kind of recap everything. Physically, uh, my right knee swelled up and it really hurts to bend back, and which is really bizarre. I haven't had that happen, and I'm not really sure why that's happening. <laughs> I like to stretch pretty good before I go out, and all of a sudden this thing is like swelled up and it, it just. Uh, yeah, it's really painful to bend it back. Um, my shoulders were getting really feeling kind of funky, and so were my elbows. Um, I don't know if I just overexerted myself, if it's getting old, combination of everything. Uh, just kind of frustrating, though, you know. But um, yeah, the dings on the board, that was kind of a big bummer not coming in. It's supposed to be in now, so I may go pick it up, but we'll see. I'm not going to put a whole lot of faith on that. And on the up flip side, the weather was sunny. Um, there was some really fun days of surf. Today was just big and gnarly, but yesterday, all day, was a really fun, super cool surf session. And uh, yeah, I think that was like two other days. So I had like three really fun days of surf out of all of this. So not bad. Not bad at all. Camping out there was super neat. Met some cool people. Um, so these cats from Hood River showed up who work out there. And I got their card. So it's kind of like a little hookup if I ever get out there. Which was a positive note. And uh, yeah. And it was good, just a break to camp. Camping went well, the van did good. Um, the plug and plugging in that little ceramic heater was amazing. It literally got so roasty warm in here on that little bitty thing at night. It was crazy. Like uh, out of all the covers and it was like cold. Hovering around 30, I don't know really what it was. Just every place is different there's frost on the road right now but like it was seriously hot in the van <laughs> off that little heater and i didn't even have it all the way cranked up which was crazy but anyhow um so that was a good thing and uh yeah overall and it was good just have a break from work get away, from, get away get away nice anyhow i hope you guys enjoyed the video and Catch you on the flip side. Bloop.